Hey, I'm Adam Jusko, and this is Unbox Em, where I buy stuff, unbox it, show it to you, and sometimes review it as well. In this video, we are going to unbox the Allbirds Tree Dashers shoes, the new running shoes from Allbirds. But before I do that, I'm going to ask you to please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not already. And if you have already, I thank you for doing so. So Allbirds has been kind of a hip brand in shoes for a little while now. This is their first running shoe, the Tree Dashers. So I just got these and this is how it looks when it came in the mail. So this is what you're gonna get on your doorstep when you get the Allbirds. On the back side here is the mailing label and everything. So it comes just like this with the label on it. So I got the uh, quartz version in terms of color. So you're gonna see that on this side it shows you you can see how big my feet are the big m13 and uh pretty much that's it so i am going to open it up and let you kind of see what the presentation looks like here so we start like this it opens this way and this comes up i gotta see what you can see and then you got your shoes in there, which is, you know, kind of what you're looking for, right? So a pretty uh, nice box, a little presentation for you here. Nothing too fancy, but anyway, what you get in here, you probably already know, is shoes. So you're going to get like, you know, your little all bird story to make you feel really good about your purchase. Now these shoes are not cheap. So these were $125. So I have sort of high expectations of them. Now in terms of running shoes, I'm not a huge runner, but I do uh, run, you know, I probably never do more than like five to seven miles when I run and I don't know, maybe I run three or four times a week. So I'm not a huge runner. I'm not going to put a ton of miles on them. I have another uh, pair of shoes. The brand is Topo that I like. I kind of like a more minimalist running shoe than some are. So I don't really know what to expect from these. I really didn't do a whole lot of research on them. I really just got them to make this video. So we are going to find out how they work, but I'm kind of telling you what my biases are beforehand. So when I come back and review them after having run in them for uh, a few days or a week or whatever, I can, you know, be telling you based on what I already like and don't like in shoes. So anyway, let's pull one out. So this again is the quartz uh, color here. You can see it's really got a lot of cushioning there on the bottom, which again, like I said, I kind of like a minimalist shoe often. So it'll be interesting to see how that feels. I kind of like those, uh, like those gray laces on them. It's a pretty good looking shoe out of the box. I'm actually interested to see what that's going to look like on my feet so we will check that out in terms of you know if you're like really into shoes and you want to talk about the uppers and all that kind of stuff i don't really know what to tell you they got kind of like this meshy stuff going on here on the front it's not a super heavy shoe but it's not a super light shoe either and it feels pretty strong now obviously you've got the this thing in there and that's making it feel a little more supported, obviously. So once that is out, then you can feel that it is, uh, you know, the top at least pretty smushable. Uh, bottom, not so much. Not as bendy as, you know, some people might like in their shoe. So that will be interesting to see how it goes. Not a lot going on here. This is super stretchy. I don't know if you can see that. It's a lot of stretch going on right there, like right over the top of your foot. And that could be a nice thing because it'll be sort of like, you know, fit you like a glove. Anyway, I'm going to put them on. All right, so now I am all laced up. There is your front view. There is your side view. There we go. There is your other side view. They feel pretty good. Like I said, they're not super light, but they're not heavy either. I think the, you know, the uh, proof is going to be in the actual run. So a lot of times, for me at least, shoes feel really good when I first put them on. But then as I run in them, they start to feel a little heavy. And so that's always what my concern is personally. I had to look up and see what the actual ounces are on these shoes, but pretty bouncy and I'm ready to run. All right, so I'm back. I have given the shoes about probably 
20 miles of running, so not a ton, but probably about 20 miles of running. Also got a five mile uh, walk in there on the Allbirds Tree Dashers. Now obviously they're a running shoe, not necessarily a walking shoe. So that was just sort of a, by chance, I did that five mile walk as well with somebody else. But I will also give you a little bit of an impression of how that walk felt too, because there was a little bit of a difference between the run and the walk. So first off, let's talk about the good. I feel like the Allbirds Tree Dashers are really solid construction. You feel like your uh, foot is well supported here with this shoe. Definitely, uh, you know, no issue with that. It kind of grips your foot in a way that feels good without being too much. You don't feel like you're in foot jail. I kind of uh, like having no tongue up here. I guess that is a preference thing, but for me that kind of helped in terms of the uh, snugness without there being too much. These ties kind of, uh, you know, they bring it down in terms of like, you know, tightening up right at the top of your foot, but because you don't have that tongue, you're not kind of trying to tie something down so much. So you're just kind of tightening it up right in that place to, you know, make this kind of, I don't want to say flimsy because that suggests bad construction, but there's not a whole lot there. So what you're tying down isn't very much. You're doing just a little bit to get it to the place where you want on your foot. You're not trying to tie down some, uh, you know, kind of foamy or puffy tongue here. So that actually is a really nice feature. I also like that the shoe is pretty wide here across the toe box. If you have wide feet, and I do, then you want to have some space here. And the good thing is there was some space in this toe box, but still did not have uh, you know any slippage or anything. So I felt like my foot was uh, taken care of, but I also had room to move. You know, my toes weren't all smashed into each other in there. So that is a pretty nice feature too. So overall, the way the shoes feel is pretty good. There was room for my toe. Now, obviously, if you had narrower feet, that might be something that you would feel like maybe they were a little too wide. But for me, I really uh, like that. Not much slippage, pretty good support overall. Now for some of the bad, one of the things that was a little much for me is the amount of padding that is going on right here. It is a ton and it is not very bendable when compared to other shoes. And so it left me feeling a little detached from the road when I took it out on a run. Just not a lot of give there. I definitely would like more give than this shoe is giving me. The Tree Dasher is also kind of a heavy shoe. Now, to be fair, I have really big feet, so I wear a size 13, and obviously as your feet get bigger, the shoe gets bigger and it weighs more. So for me, I'm always looking for as light as possible in a shoe. So if you have smaller feet and you know the weight of the shoe doesn't come into play as much, well then that might not be something that concerns you. But if you like a very lightweight shoe, I don't know that this is it. And because my preferences are for a much lighter weight shoe and I want to feel the road more than have a ton of support, what I am running in are these Topo ST3s for the most part. And the difference between these two shoes is very easy to see. I think you can see it as I'm holding them up here. You've got, you know, huge sole here compared to this one. This one, super bendy, all sorts of give hardly anything uh, you know on top in terms of construction and even looking at them this way you can see one of them is a very huge in comparison to the other map put those the other way you can see that one of them is very huge in comparison to the other so the Allbirds are a big shoe in comparison to maybe what I use normally now for you that may not be as much of a concern because of the fact that uh, you know again if you have smaller feet that may not uh, bother you as much because maybe you can handle a little more weight on your feet because the shoes aren't going to uh, weigh as much in their natural state but if you do like a very lightweight shoe again this one is not necessarily it also again, due to my personal preferences, this is a zero drop shoe. This is, I think it's a seven millimeter drop uh, shoe. So there's a difference here where this shoe can be kind of tough on my calves. This shoe, the Allbirds Tree Dasher, felt like it was maybe a little tough on the knees, maybe because of the fact that it doesn't have a whole lot of flexing going on where this one really lets me feel the road and I got that flex in the shoe. 
I said I also did about a five mile walk in the shoe and this is not as relevant because obviously it is a running shoe but I wanted to mention it here because one of the things that I noticed when I walked in the shoes versus running in the shoes is that this back part here is kind of hard it also is not as giving as I would like and by the end of that five miles it was kind of rubbing the back of my heel up to into the Achilles area here and again for a running shoe I mean depending on how you run I think I'm more, you know, up on the uh, balls in front of my feet. But if you are someone that ran a little flatter, this could be something that bothers you here again. A lot of shoes these days have kind of figured that out and they are cut differently or this is a very soft piece. The Allbirds here is, uh, it's a little tougher. And again, if you're someone who likes, a, you know, a ton of support, that might be good for you. But it's also something for me that was kind of digging at the back of my, uh, digging at the back of my heel again after that, those five miles. Overall, I think the Allbirds Tree Dashers are a quality shoe, especially if you like very good support. If the sustainability aspect uh, is important to you, I didn't really go into that with these shoes, but in terms of what they are made of, they are very much uh, all about sustainability. If that's important to you, then that obviously is something that uh, the environmental piece would matter to. For me, the deal breaker is just the fact that this bottom part is so non-pliable that these are not the kind of shoes that I will continue to run in. So for me though, I think, you know, it's a good looking shoe. It's a shoe that I would be happy to wear as sort of a casual athletic shoe where I wasn't really trying to get a workout in and I just wanted to have, you know, this type of shoe. Maybe if I were walking around during the day on a vacation or something or, you know, just for, for casual wear, that would be fine. I don't think I'm going to make these my everyday. In fact, I know I'm not going to make these my everyday everyday running shoe. However, they still are a nice looking and good casual shoe, I think. Now for $125, do I, you know, want to spend that much for a decent looking casual shoe? Probably not, but still not a total loss. Of course, everybody's body is different, everyone's feet are different, so what may be wrong for me could very much be right for you. And in fact, I think I'm probably not necessarily the mainstream of runners in terms of how big my feet are and what I'm looking for in a shoe. So the Allbirds Tree Dasher, well-constructed shoe, definitely probably right for a lot of people out there. So what's wrong for me could be right for you. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and we'll talk to you again.